friends, it's Miss Deborah, and today I'm going to show you how to make an apple dip that goes perfectly well with the sweet tortilla chips that Miss Christine made with you on another video. So if you've been in book cooks before, you kind of know how this goes. We start with washing our hands nice and clean, soap and water, counting up to 20 to make sure all the germs are gone. And then we need to find our recipe. That's right. This says apple dip. And a recipe, as we know, tells us what we need for our recipe and how to do it. So for this recipe, you need two apples, about like this size, doesn't matter what color, and you will need to peel them and core them and dice them up. Mom or dad can take off the skin for you, that's called peeling it, and get rid of the core, that's called coring it. And then they can cut some pieces for you to cut up. And I'm using a plastic knife, we do that in book cooks too. And we know that a plastic knife is not very strong, but the way we use it is to saw back and forth like I'm doing. We don't need to push down with all our might, we just saw and it works the same way. And we are doing what we call dicing. That means we make our apple into the shape of dice. Just like a dice you use when you're playing a game. So they look about like that. So for this recipe, we need one and a third cups of apples. Apple diced, apples diced up. So I've already got one cup of apples, and now I've measured out a third of a cup. We add them into our bowl. We just need one bowl. And all the ingredients that we're using for this recipe all go into the one bowl. There we go. So there's our apples. The next thing we need is the juice from a half of a lemon. I've already cut mine. I did the fun part already. You guys can do that too at home. Even with your plastic knife, you can saw all the way through your lemon. Now I see some seeds in mine, which you probably will too, so you wanna get those out. You look carefully and you just scoop them out with your plastic knife or a spoon. You don't wanna eat the seeds, that's kinda yucky. And after you get all the seeds out, I see one more, there we go. Then we're gonna squeeze it into the apple. So you're gonna hold it right over the bowl and use two hands and squeeze it as hard as you can so all the juice comes right out into the bowl. It's kind of fun. Ugh, squeezing, squeezing. Ugh. There we go. If you see that a seed popped out, just pick it right out. I don't think I got any seeds in there. All right, done with that. The next thing we need is some brown sugar. We need two teaspoons of brown sugar. So just like in book cooks, when we measure something like sugar, we dig in and we make a big mountain. So it heaps over the amount that you need. And you take a clean spoon or a clean knife, use the back of it, and you're gonna level it off just like we do in, in book cooks. You're gonna scrape it across and put it right back in the container. So then you have a nice level scoop that is one teaspoon. The recipe tells us we need two teaspoons. So let's add one more. Got my mountain and I'm gonna scrape right back off, level it off into one teaspoon and dump that in. Then the next thing we need is two teaspoons of apricot preserves. I am using apple pie preserves, which I think will, they will, they'll both be tasty with this recipe. So apple pie preserves or apricot preserves are just like jelly. So it's really sticky and gooey. So this is gonna need a little help to come out of the spoon. So I'm gonna scrape it in there, 
there it goes. And we needed two, so I gotta get one more. Scrape it against the side. There we go, that's about right. And push it right in. And then we need cinnamon. The recipe says we need an eighth of a teaspoon. That's probably the smallest measurement I've ever used. So teeny. So we're gonna make our mountain just like we did with the brown sugar. And then we're gonna level it off with our knife. Scrape. Then we have exactly one eighth of a teaspoon and we dump it right in. Just like that. Mm. Those are all the ingredients added in the bowl. Now we get to mix it up. I'm gonna use this wooden spoon that was my measuring spoon. And we stirring and stirring and stirring our brew. Oh, it looks good. It's all mixed together. And we need, whoops. And then we need to chill this out in the refrigerator. It tastes good when it's cold. So I have some already chilled that I'm gonna get out. And there it is. There is my apple dip. Now I made Miss Christine's sweet tortilla chips. So here's the ones I made. And I am going to try out this dip right now. Oh wait, what's that word we say before we eat in book cooks? Yes. Bon appetit! <laughs> and then I scoop some onto my sweet chip. That's very good. You know what it tastes like? An apple pie. This part would be the crust, and this part would be the pie filling. That is so delicious. I think I might eat this whole thing. Friends, I hope that you can make this recipe at home. And if you do, can you please take a picture and send it into our school? Because we wanna see what you thought of it and how, how you made it. And maybe you tried something new that you never got to try before. Thank you, friends.